CataractCoach.com, a resident's 40th cataract case. What's your advice for this young surgeon in training? Now, it's July here in the USA, and that means that new senior and even junior residents are starting to do cataract surgery. So what can we do to give them advice to encourage them? Now, this is a video at 3x normal speed, so that's why it looks a little bit jittery. Now, first things first, that's some good draping. Eyes in primary, good draping. For your 40th case, it's a pretty good incision, too. I like the little groove there that you made at the beginning. Very nicely done. Now, let's start the rexus here. Rex is going in. It says, tell him to start the rexus. That's pretty common for a resident. And now, getting a rexus done. Pretty good technique. And grabbing it again. Now, normally, the hallmark of a resident is to grab it every clock hour, so 12 times just to get the full 360. But this resident's doing a pretty good job. Now, the rexus is pretty good. That's the size I want right now. But now, look, you're finishing up a lot smaller. And so that's a little bit of a small rexus for me. Subincisionally, I like the rexus size superiorly. And the other parts, I don't like it. Now, hydro dissection, pretty good for 40th case. And now getting it rotated, again, pretty good. A little bit too much of the fingers in the view here. I don't know why we have so many fingers in the view. And getting that lens rotated, maybe a little more hydro dissection would help. And now let's see the technique here. Faco probe going in. Looks like a 275 purpose sleeve. So 275, 28 incision. And let's see. I like the little bit of bleeding from the limbal incisions. From the, the coronal incisions are nicking those limbal vessels, which I think is a good thing. It helps them seal up with time. And now let's see. Okay, my friend, put that in the eye. Let's do it. There we go. So it looks like that bevel orientation is probably going to be for a groove. And am I, right? I am right. Look at that. Groove down the middle. And nice to have a second instrument in the eye even when you're grooving. So there's a groove down the middle. Pretty good. I like it. Now remember in July, have a lot of respect for your attending surgeons. Your professors, your attendings who are spending their time teaching you, have a lot of respect for them. That's going to go a long way. Now, stop and chop for case 40. I, I actually like it. That's pretty darn good. Get this thing rotated. Are we going to do stop and chop? Mm, or maybe groove again. All right. Divide and conquer. Divide and conquer is pretty typical for case 40. Yeah, that's going to be divide and conquer. And that's perfectly fine. Listen, divide and conquer is a great technique too. I want you to learn all the techniques. I may love one more technique over the other, but I still want you to learn all of them. So that was pretty good. Getting that one half came out of there pretty easily. And this is a nice case for resident. Not too dense. Two plus nuclear sclerosis. Good dilation. And looks like a very cooperative patient. Or maybe retrobulbar block. It looks like a left eye sitting temporal. And now getting those other pieces out of the eye. Pretty good control. I wish you'd set up the scope a little bit. But sometimes it's hard to tell that. And remember, the view from the camera is much less than the view through your ocular. That's better. Better back in primary. Get these last few pieces out. I actually like a chopper in the eye to help with those. Hey, did I tell you about Cataract Coach, the podcast? We have a killer podcast. Amazing. It's the top podcast in all of ophthalmology. It's every Sunday. We've got like 70-something episodes so far. It's amazing. The entire purpose of the podcast in an hour a week is teach you the secrets to success in your practice. So either listen to it every week or you just be that below average person in the entirety of your career. Anyway, back to our case here. So bimanual INA is very helpful. Gets you good access. So cleaning that up nicely. Perhaps I get this subincisional piece and then switch hands. There you go. I've predicted it. And I am watching the video for the first time with you. Now cleaning up the rest of it. Comes up pretty nicely. Listen, for case 40, you're doing great. I really, I really like the way you're operating. You're doing a great job. You got the basics down pat. I like your draping. I like the eye in primary. I like how you float in the incisions. I like the main incision. Eh, the baby Rex is not so hot. Next time, make a better Rex. But again, that's not the limiting factor. Now, truth be told, we're going to put the lens in. Let's see. Maybe cataract coach is wrong. Maybe that's a perfect Rex. But I think it's just a little small. Now, delivering the lens here. Let's see. Single piece acrylic lens, most likely. There it is. Get that in the bag. We all know it's going to be about a six millimeter optic. And open that up. And let's see that Rex is. But for case 40, this is fantastic. Fantastic. Young surgeon, you are doing a great job. In your career, you will have much success, I have no doubt. And you took the effort to send the video in for a critique. 
Now, remember a couple weeks ago when other readers and viewers gave me so much grief when I was a little bit tough and critical on a senior graduating resident with 200 plus cases in, in the U.S., who did a terrible job with draping? Look, fake case 40 and beautiful draping. And he had the Rexus, it needs a little bit of work, but you did a beautiful job. Remember, every week the Cataract Coach Podcast teaches you all the secrets to success in your career. You will love it.